I was the data. Game is a game. This dude right here, bro. You know what I'm saying? He's the top G, man. I'm just saying, bro. Like, he come up with a bunch of stuff, man. He's, he go by the game is a game. Like, you know what I'm saying? He been blowing up crazy on TikTok, bro. He just be saying some random shit, bro. It's like a lot of them are kind of like facts, but it's also kind of like funny the way he said it and shit like that, bro. Let's just, you know, let's get into trans. It, and I don't dirt, I don't date trans at all. <laughs> you have to do a lot of shit. like if you want to be a man and a woman, you're gonna be cooking my dinner and you're gonna be digging the fucking holes outside. Like since you want to play both roles. That's crazy, bro. Nah, you see this? Is what I'm telling y'all, bro. This nigga don't miss, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. You better fucking be a good clean a person who can clean the f up out the house, and you also better be a good mechanic. You better be the one who got to go downstairs and check on at night, and you better be the one who decorate the goddamn house with flowers. If you want to take on both roles, you got to do both jobs. That's not ridiculous. That's not ridiculous to say that. Make a big bitch lose weight. Look, guys, just because you decide to be with a big bitch long term, don't mean long term she got to be a big bitch. So hear me out. When you out in public, I want you to pay somebody five dollars to walk up to her and ask her if she's pregnant, and then pay somebody ten dollars to walk by her and say, "Damn, bitch," and then pay somebody fifteen to go up to her and say, "Damn, you a big pregnant bitch." <laughs> It'll take the pressure off of you and the weight off of her. Another thing nah, you can do is bro, when you go on vacation, buy her serious, fast man. two airline seats just for herself. The bigger she is, the deeper it'll cut. Another thing you can do is take her on a bunch of activities that fat bitches don't like doing like beach volleyball, or rock climbing, or standing up from a seated position. Another thing you can do is, when she gone, narrow all your door frames by one foot, and watch her fat ass try to squeeze through when she come home. Another thing you can do is, now, weaken one of the steps in your house, and when she go up the stairs game. and she fall through, tell her fat ass to go lay down, but weaken her bed frame first. Trust me, it'll work. Game is game. So in this video, it's like, you can't really see like the full detail, his girlfriend hitting him. And then she end up hitting her back and shit like that. So I don't think you can really see the full thing here because YouTube might take it down and stuff. <laughs> but let's watch. Hey, chill, chill, chill. No, don't be going, don't be looking sad now here. I ain't pull your motherfucking hair out your motherfucking head. You pull my hair out my motherfucking head. Don't be sitting there looking all fucking sad now, nigga. You see me goddamn putting on there before me because, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, shit. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Pow, right in the kitchen. Hold on. Wait, one second. One second. Come here. I know we're not finna do this shit right now. Really? I'm saying. You, go ahead and go then. Go ahead and go. Chat. I swear to God. My right hand, the motherfucking God. This bitch just broke my car window, nigga. Me personally, I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. That's crazy, my backseat window, nigga. Man, bro, I swear to motherfucking chat, I'm finna end the stream, bro. I'm finna end it. Boy, holy fuck, bro. Man, fuck this stream and shit, bro. Fuck this shit. I holly child. Yeah, the context behind everything. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no, it is what it seemed like. Yeah, I beat that bitch ass. You know, it ain't no secret. It ain't no secret. He's just basically explaining that he beat his girls up, but like he's kind of like self defense kind of thing, so he can't really go to jail. Yeah, Aiden. Bro, I, I ain't gonna lie. Hey, that shit felt so fucking good, bro. I don't know if you know what happened, but we was on monkey and shit. And we was looking, we was trying to get bitches to show us. And boy, I'm telling you, we had this, uh, this Mexican bitch, and she wound up pulling out her shit and shit, had something of the juicy. And the bitch who I was with, she didn't like it. So she started hitting me and shit. And I said, Aiden, it's gonna be the last time a bitch fuck up my goddamn stream. And so I went fucking postal. I'm talking about straight Deontay Wilder on the bitch, nigga. <laughs> I didn't fucking stop. It. You're going to jail, bitch. I do. I fuck with a lot of black bitches. You know, black bitches are bigger, stronger. They hit harder. All right. I, um, the first couple of licks, it might not hurt, but that don't stop a bitch from grabbing a pen, grabbing a fucking broken bottle, or grabbing a knife and stepping the shit out of you. Really? Whenever you feel like, oh, no, nah, trust me, nah, bro. I've seen it plenty of times where a small bitch have left some serious damage on a bigger nigga because he tried to hold his old macho ass, I ain't gonna hit no bitch back ass goddamn persona, and that winds up welling on him. 
I ain't gonna lie though, to be honest, like if you know you can't really, like a lot of these women start hitting men. Imagine them men just trying to fight them or start hitting them back, bro. You're not that strong, bro. You can't really start fighting like men here, like, and expect some guy don't, don't really let that thing slide. Some guy just not gonna be like, gonna be like, oh, I'm not, I don't hit women. But some guy ain't gonna let that thing slide. They're gonna just hit back hard, I'm telling you got too much power as it is the last thing they need to do is act like they want to be men but then go back to being just when it come down to comeback no if you're gonna be a man you're gonna be a man all the way fuck you talking about hey then it ain't the same dog always, these bitches can't gonna come out right here saying though. i'm a man i make I more money lie. than you i can do all this more than you i can build just like you can and then when you hit them they be like oh shit i'm a woman that shit just deserve to get their ass whooped Bro. it ain't just Aiden. it's just it's kids even toddlers, Good if music, anybody man. is putting their hands on you and you tell them to stop and they keep doing it, you got the right to knock the shit out of well, them, well, even if it's a fucking baby. No, all right, come on. A baby, a two-year-old a two -year -old baby. Is it ain't going to be a four Bro, be serious now. You going too far with this shit, man. Four-year-old. If a four-year-old sitting up here hit you with a stick <laughs> over and over nah. again, and you're like, hey, stop, little nigga. And like, he's still hitting you. Stop, little nigga. No, no. You ain't got the right to grab the stick and knock the shit. His no, ass. no, it's a baby, Man. bro. It's a baby. Oh, I I agree with discipline. I think if a child is my boyfriend wife wedding, what? Get ready with me to go to my boyfriend's wife's wedding. And I know you're probably a little confused, yeah. but I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. My boyfriend is dating my aunt. Uh, okay, so you dating your aunt? What? And honestly, I love them both so dearly. And like, just when he told me he was ready to marry her, I was just, I was so excited for him. Why? I am really hoping that one day me and him can also get married. Oh, They're so cute oh, together, but like, I love him more and I feel like, I think he should have married me first. It's getting worse. I can't, I can't. I love about all this is like if me and my boyfriend ever decide to split or anything like that he will always be in my life because of my aunt and that's why I love that they're getting married because I will always have him around even if he hates me I still have him and I know y'all probably want to know yes he was with my aunt first but like that doesn't matter she can't be serious. And let me tell you, so like... my aunt and my boyfriend, they only have been dating for two weeks. <laughs> Proposed last week and they're getting married today. 